so far when we see dwarves, they always push with, you know, the pikemen into two guardians, and I think this is a great push. Goblins can't really counter it early on. And that's what Eternal's supposed to do in his matches. But let's see how DJ is gonna play with the dwarves against the red goblin player Avehavi on the right side on the map Westwold in the game number one. Um, would you go for how many goblin caves would you get on a map like this? So the first question is, um, does the goblin want to start spidling or goblin caves? But yeah. I think in both cases, um, you go for three goblin caves. I guess you can make two, but that's a bit minimalistic. He starts with the spider pit in, in, indeed, actually. Yeah, makes sense. Big map. And uh, war glares are so easy to creep with them. Yeah, and we will have two mineshafts into the Hall of Warriors here from DJ Premier. Yeah. Mm. So DJ told me he wants to creep the troll in this one very fast, so he makes the mineshaft very close. Yeah. Um, would you go also for the extraverse against goblins as dwarves? Yeah, so that's actually the big reason why most people say dwarves are very oppressive versus goblins right now. It's pretty much that one early game push with the axe throwers. But if that fails, I think everything swings into the goblin favor a lot. So DJ is going to do that in this game. Yeah. I 100% agree with you. Every time when we see the first into second push fail from the dwarves against goblins, then, you know, they lose the map control big time. Because mm -hmm. there are so many goblins to deal with. And you can't out spam a goblin faction if he has like three, four goblin caves up on the field. And oh, I'm DJ. assuming that's gonna be the case from Ave Ave after the He's couple of scouting. So that's a sacrifice, I think, because the links should come out. Oh, yeah. Um, they are coming out pretty much now. Uh, maybe he gets into wall up range. He doesn't even chase, or does he? Um, yeah, he does, I guess. I, I think he's fine. Uh, yeah, but maybe he can contest the creep, what do you think? Yeah, that was actually pretty unfortunate for DJ because now he might end up showing him his plan. Um, no? Oh, he didn't see it, I guess. Okay. Um, he wanted but... to lure the troll away, but that was not the best example. That's I think the fine. spiderlings, they will be able to see that now. Yeah, they see okay. that. So imagine them they? being able to get the last hit and the creep even afterwards. Okay. Now DJ has to delay this a bit until the next unit is here. Yeah. Ah, the mineshaft is mineshaft. dead. That's really good, yeah. actually, from Ave Ave. He has time, right? He can take the mineshaft down and still go for the contest afterwards. Try mm -hmm. to get the last hit. Deny the level 2 experience. And potentially steal the treasure. But he needs yeah. to be... Ah, okay. Oh, my oh, God. the second battalion. Ooh, two parts stolen. Okay. But two parts went for DGP, so 50-50. But yep. luckily, he was able to get the experience, right? So that's not the worst case, I guess. Uh, it's already pretty bad for the dwarf, I think, um, because he also lost a mineshaft. Yeah. And Arwe knows what's coming now. He knows what's coming. He's getting now his second orc, uh, goblin cave up on the field. As I think so far, three spiderlings, if I'm not mistaken. One of them is badly damaged, though. Mm -hmm. The other one is really close to his level two. Uh, the builder guess... here from DJP has to be careful, maybe, at the top left side. The good part about this is at least that the goblin didn't get to creep by himself, just steal something. So the push is coming. Yeah, he's creeping now at, uh, at the same time at the top left side with mm -hmm. those spiderlings. Um, but I'm assuming he won't be able to defend this well enough. And that means he yeah. po might potentially lose a lot here from this push. Let's see. Okay. On the bright side for Ave Ave, he was just able to take down the mineshaft in the middle again and creeping yeah. the warplay at the top left side, getting some money and experience. This tunnel is gone. There is no way him being able to save that. The mm -hmm. bot left. Always actually not expanding a whole lot himself. I think they're an equal CP right now. Yeah. I mean, um, DJP is even a bit ahead. 350 against 300. Mm -hmm. Warchant defensively. Yeah. He has, ex um, he has archers in the back. Okay, I think... The extras should target the archers. Yeah, but they are not doing that right now. And the archers are actually dealing a decent amount of damage to the front line. Mm -hmm. Okay, more axes coming. Yeah. Committing to a statue. I think that's the worst thing. If he gets the statue up on the field and manages to hold the mineshaft, then it's gonna be a disaster for the goblins. Uh, he's trying to mineshaft. take down the mineshaft. Oh. It's gonna be close. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it, but more spiderlings are coming. Finish it off. 
Will they be able to do that? That's the question. The builder. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's gonna be down now. It means no more units but... gonna come any soon from DJP. But during all this time, you know, DJP is untouched. Yeah, and the statue gets up. Yeah. Builder. Should be able to get away. And yeah, the leadership is coming in clutch here for DJP. There's still mm -hmm. uh, a lot of extra wars left. Guardians, full full battalion here. Pikeman. Can he commit to that with the Spiderlings? That's the question. Don't think so. I don't think so as well, man. Oh, that's... Tries to flank, but just too good with the leadership. Spider Riders could be a great choice, yeah. You know, there are no, basically no more pikemen left, right? So you could deal so much Maybe. damage with the trample. But the Spider Pit so. is still only level 1. Yeah, and all Spiderlings are almost dead. Just yeah. a level 2 battalion surviving here. Maybe he can... Oh, okay, it down. cave pets. Cave pets are coming, that's good. So to negate the leadership here, to debuff them, which is really important. And I think with the cave pets, he can actually deal with them now. He should yeah. be able to. So the push is over now. Let's look at what's happening in the back. Um, DJ, I think, has four mine shafts up. Didn't manage to creep anything in the meantime, of course. Yeah. And, and we have uh, 450 command points for Ave Ave. And the builder from DJB has been just taken down goes down um actually not bad here he has also a slightly powerpoint lead because he was able to creep at the top left side the work layer was able to take down i think three mine shafts so far in this game and a builder what do you think about the current situation solas yeah that's exactly what i meant in the first uh, minute here when the push is cleaned up the dwarf has lost everything that he invested in for the first three minutes of the game and the goblin usually ends up with more units after a successful defense so now dj has to be in the defensive for a few minutes i think until the battle wagon is out yeah and avi is going now for a counter attack from the left and from the middle uh this mine shaft at the top right side will be taken down potentially um three goblin caves you know is there a point in which you make you would make the transition into the spider riders or half troll swordsman uh yeah half troll swordsman for sure spider riders are not quite worth it um, I'm not sure if you're at that point right now. I think Arway can be pretty greedy right now because you should know that DJ can't move out on the map for quite a while now. Yeah. And actually keeping him busy for now. Um, just needs to be careful that he doesn't lose too much stuff because DJ is gonna have his battle wagon on the field pretty soon. Mm -hmm. With the banner carry upgrade. Middle mind Jeff got repaired there and that cost Arway a lot of spider links. Yeah. But oh, that he actually also, defends the one in the north as well. Yeah, but that also actually means for Ave Ave that DJP won't have the Hobbits any soon, right? Yeah, but that's okay. Hobbits are not that good. Okay. Fischer is coming up now for Ave Ave. So half those Swatman are going to join the fight pretty soon. They are also, I think, a great choice against the Battle Wagon as they can't get trampled down. Round two. Battle Wagon is here. If that's not uh, waitable. But Ooh. the Rally Call is. Good trample. Oil Oral. Oh, that's a bad fight to take, I guess, for the goblins. Mm. He's gonna lose so much, and buff is gonna be on cooldown as well. Now DGP can actually push with double buff. Mm -hmm. um, we'll lose a mind shaft for it, but he should just expand behind his push right now. Yeah. He's making a mind shaft here. Did he replace the second build he lost? Yeah, he's doing it right now, the fortress. Another build is gonna join the fight pretty soon. Uh, half throw swordmen are gonna join soon as well, but the problem is. Um, maybe, you know, if he can wait, because the cave pets are going to be ready now. Yeah, and he could also get Tainted Land if he uh, gets some power points with the harassment in DJ's base right now. Yeah. Which is actually going to hurt. But he's going to lose this level 2.5 mine shafts here. The build is running for his life. Oh, he will yeah. be able to get away. Okay, so that dies. He has to be very careful with his army now. Don't overextend with it, just... Pick off what you can. Yeah. He's also staying grouped. Maybe splitting them would be not bad, what you think? No, I think everything needs to stay near the wagon. Okay, so to not lose them, right? Mm -hmm. But because it... of that grouping, he's not being able to deal much more damage than Ave dealt to him. Actually, Ave was, Ave's damage was even big, you know, more. Oh, the battle yeah. wagon. Careful. Nice trample. Getting away. Okay. Not Good. getting damage too much here from those goblin archers. 
It's a weird moment from Awe. He should really gather an army right now and engage with Tainted Land and Cave Bats. Yeah, I think that's go that's what's gonna happen now because he's retreating with the Spider Lynx and those Goblin Warriors mm -hmm. looking to group. Uh, he needs Cave Bats here. I don't know why he... There we go. Not a great timing. He's gonna lose all the archers now because there's no more Spider Lynx. Yeah. Uh, one actually, more is coming. Some more now. Ooh, the Battle Wagon is gonna be gone now. Oh, the heal okay. delay. Oh, oh no. Bad. Battle Wagon has been taken down, and there is not a second one just yet. Um, I mean, it's on the oh, way. And yeah, that's a victory for the goblins again. Yeah, that's a big victory here for the goblins. Um, yeah, I mean, like you said, it's happening. You know, goblins are being able to defend. Uh, now he has, you know, enough, and he's oh. using Wildman. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, but the Battle Wagon is gonna come out out soon, right? Uh, I don't know if that's gonna matter. Okay, the mineshaft is gonna be taken down in between the archer range and the barracks here from DJ Premier. That's the second and last. Yeah, that's the last mineshaft with level 2. Mm -hmm. Will he lose the forge works? He might. Yeah. I mean, that's Rebuild. Rebuild is available though. Yeah, that's. I don't know if it was not available for the mineshaft. Maybe not. Otherwise, he would have used it, I guess. We have now 400 CP only for DJ Premier in the game number one against Ave Have and his 675 command points, boys. Now pushing through the middle was a great defense so far, but again, you know, Westworld is one of the best maps you can get for the goblins against dwarves. Yeah. And since Jungle is banned. Um, and also DJ's start didn't go super well with the creeping and everything. Yeah. Because Ave found it. And he was able to steal two parts of the treasure, which helped him a lot. Mm -hmm. Seeing the attack coming obviously helps you also to organize your army, get ready to defend. And I think that's the whole premise, right, from the Dwarf faction. They want to push you all the time, but as long as you can de defend the pushes, the first one, the second one, uh, you will be always in a great uh, position. Yeah, also the problem was here that DJ's pushes were quite all in, so he had to get a lot done for it to be worth it. There's also a more middle ground version of this push, of course, where you can just keep the goblin on his toes and uh, grow in the background yourself. But that didn't happen here. Oh, here are arriving. Thank you so much for the raids, Xelenos, man. Appreciate it. And welcome to the stream, guys. To the quarterfinals of the Faction Champion Tournament for Rise of the Witch King. DJ Premier against Avi Havi. That's the first game. And yeah, that's gonna hurt. I think that might be a GG move. I don't know why DJP still fights. He's so behind. Um, 925 command points here against 300. And the 925 without any battle expansions, by the way. Thank you guys so much for the follows. I really appreciate it. Okay. I think that should be more than enough. Look at the minimap at the bottom left side. How many tunnels he has all over the place. And DJP is gonna call it GG and Ave Ave has now the lead in the best of five. He's two wins away from moving to the semifinals. In semifinals, um, Major of X is waiting for its opponent already. Yeah, game number two. I am what you know, what did he tell you in this map about the stuff you wanna do against Ave Ave? So this is the one map where I actually disagreed with his uh choice for build order. He's gonna double creep and uh make a fast forge behind. I said make axe throws behind it. Okay. Because it's a short map. I think in a short map, the, the pushes, you can get much more follow up, I think. And it's going to be much, much harder to defend and punish uh, the dwarf player uh, to play over aggressive. But I guess, you know, for the goblins, um, you know, the dwarves are always attacking the main castle, the, the main fortress, right? Maybe, you know, in order to defend yourself against such an attack, you should be making your tunnels elsewhere. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also make your production behind the fortress. That helps a lot. Which he did in Westfold, but DJ still came from that angle, so that didn't help. Yeah. Early barracks is coming up for DJP, as you said. Yeah. Um, and we have two tunnels here from Ave Ave. I'm potentially into the Goblin Cave, I think. Spider Pits. But, no, Goblin Cave, there we go. Yeah. It's a bit hard with Lings because there's no wall glares on this map, which are the easiest to creep for them. And can you creep with the Spider Link, uh, the White Layer, also alone? In, you know, 1v1? I, I don't think so. 
Okay. But uh, you could theoretically creep the crawl, but it takes a while because you need to run back and forth. Yeah. Use the builder. You know, it takes you a lot of time and it's risky because if DJP sees it, <laughs> then he yeah. can, you know, just contest steal. Pikeman start, as you said, potentially gonna go for the for the troll AI as he's building a mineshaft here. Yeah. That's the other thing I would probably change if I was playing. I would creep the white first and take the uh, in for some hobbits and then go for the troll. Yeah. But this version gives him a bit more money because the troll gives one more chest. And it looks like Abe won't be able to contest this time, unlike in the map West Vault, because he's going the other way with the builder, mm -hmm. checking the bottom side. Um, and he's he went already for the second Goblin Cave. So what is the okay. magical number in this map with the Goblin Caves you want to have under your control? Two, three... Oof. Tough question. In this case, uh, not very many because, as I said, DJ plans to go for a fast forge here. So two into a spider pit, I would say. You would need some spiderlings. They're actually so good against the battle wagons. Mm -hmm. They're faster. They can chase him down, catch him, kill him. Uh, so but it looks like he was able to sneak this builder to the river at the bot side. Yeah. And also, this is the build where he makes two tunnels and then right away two goblin caves. So he's going to have slightly more goblin warriors than normally. So he's probably going to attack with like four or five battalions and take out the main mine shaft from DJ. Yeah, that would be really good, actually. Um, we have the builder here from DJ Premier at the top right side. Oh, the, the mine shaft has been taken oh. down by the goblin warrior. <laughs> I mean, you are so. playing against goblins. They work together, you know? It's a goblin <laughs> creep. So <laughs> that's 300 resources gone. Oh, that's unlucky, dude. That's really unlucky. Okay. Now the attack. Big play is coming. Big push is coming. Good reaction time. Uh, but he, will gonna... use, he needs to use it, right? He needs to use Riding Call here. Uh, actually, no. Oh, but he will lose so many, right? Oh, actually not. He's still smashing the fight. Yeah. So he's going to lose that mine shaft, which is totally fine. And yeah. uh, now Aoi doesn't have a rally call or a war chant for the defense. Same and old story. He also sit, didn't see the mineshaft here at the top left side with those goblin warriors, which is kind of unlucky. Oh, um, I think he did. Uh, he did. Really? Or maybe he's. Yeah, he did. Okay. Uh, we'll so DJ needs to get out of there now. Yeah. To protect it. Yes, buff advantage, boys. So he can go for a push now with those units. Uh, war chant is on cooldown from Abe Abe. Yes, some units still remaining on the field. They could. Potentially look for this mineshaft here. Uh, will he be able to take down the mineshaft actually with those goblins? With the one goblin warrior battalion. Look at this. Yeah, yeah that's, that's crazy. That's a lot of dead units. Oh, I mean, not even close, oh, baby. Wow. <laughs> look at Great. this. But the second one is coming. He needs to block now. Close? Yeah, he will okay. lose it now. Well, just go in now. Yeah. I not got one more guardian out, actually. Okay, so let's see how effective this push is gonna be. We have so far uh, tr uh, two goblin caves into the spider pit, as you mentioned. We have spider links joining the fights now. There is no forge just yet for DJP, though. Okay, now is the time for rally call because there's archers. Yeah, there we go. Rally call was used. Okay, so no matter how this goes, DJ will get a good trade. It's important to get a lot of infrastructure behind this. Yeah. Um, let's see how much, how many structures he will be able to destroy. I mean, this tunnel is the main one here from Ave Havi, obviously. He can take it down and then go for the back one as well. Oh, but nasty. Actually, Ave is not doing a bad job here defending. With the archers, two battalions of them are dealing decent amount of damage. The fortress is helping as well. And so far, he didn't lose anything but units. Yeah. Could, could have been executed better by DJ. Maybe he gets one tunnel still. Yeah, he might be able to do that. Meanwhile, uh, he actually went for archery range, not forge. Maybe yeah. because he's low on money and he wants units quick. And he's creeping the white layer now with those pikemen and will be capturing oh. this in then afterwards. Very good. So that's what I meant. The push itself doesn't get much done, but it buys him time. He has no pressure on the map right now, so he can get the in. Yeah. Extrovers and Guardians push next time. But uh, for the next fight, um, Ave should have the buff advantage. But we have seen also with the buff, uh, the Goblin Warriors are not being able to out-damage those Dwarven units. Indeed, Ave was able to... I mean, DJP was able to defend himself without using his Riding Call. Oh, the Builder! Oh, the Builder has been taken down once again. Oh no, that hurts actually. I mean, so far, um, the Builder lost, lose, and the Mineshaft he lost against the Goblin from the Goblin Lair. 
hurts him so much. And those kind of, I mean, especially the mineshaft thing, right? It's so unlucky. Yeah, that's classic tournament bad luck. Yeah. It doesn't happen in practice ever, but here it does. And Avi is preparing for the push. Let's see how effective. I mean, he has three goblin archers inside the tunnel as well. Yeah, he does actually have so much stuff that can damage structures right now. Yeah. And uh, DJ goes for a quick follow up forge. So I think he's just going to defend for now, and the Hobbit's going to be very useful as well. Um, they have almost the same amount of power points, by the way, guys. Uh, almost 5 for Ave Habe, 5 for DJP, 400 command points for DJ, and 500 command points for the Goblin player Ave Habe so far. I mean, uh, really important to mention that Ave didn't lose any of these tunnels just yet, all game long. Indeed, those two, and even this one in the, in the back, are all about tweet level 2. While uh, DJP was losing the one mineshaft in the front of the fortress. DJ once again making it very expensive for the goblin to damage this one mineshaft in the north. He will probably kill it, but at a high cost. Yeah. Maybe repair it actually. Oh, builder from DJ? You see that? There we go. Do you see the builder? Yeah. Oh my god, oh, no. it hurts. It's the second Not builder he loses. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, nice oh, surrounding man there from uh, from Ave Ave paying attention, taking down the second build of the game from DJ Premier, and that's not he gonna help you. Shaft, so that one is still up. Yeah, and Hobbit's gonna help defend it now. He needs to use Rock Mode though. But Solas losing two builders in like 30 seconds. Hmm. Yeah, not ideal. <laughs> Might not be able to defend it though. So. He doesn't have Rylan Cole yet, right? Does he? Uh, like, yes, but he'll he get more units. He will defend it, I think. Okay. Goblins are, I mean, hobbits are getting killed by those spiderlings. He can kill all the spiderlings and then the battle wagon can trample the rest, maybe? Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen, I think. If, that's... if he gets the wagon out, can he get out of the town? Uh, he's gonna get it out now. Okay. Oh, nice trample. But uh -huh. he's gonna lose all the other stuff here, besides the battle wagon. And spiderlings are here, and I think this, ba this wagon is dead. Fuck. Yeah, that's really <laughs> bad, actually. Can't get, there is no escape. Uh, he can make it expensive once again with the fire, maybe, but... Yeah, but, you know, it's, I think, not worth it, because what's, what did he kill? Like, a couple of goblin archers and goblin warriors? How much they cost, you know? Almost nothing. And he lost so many pikemen, guardians, and those hobbits. Uh, oh no, and he lost Guardians to the troll air now. Oh Every really? Okay, wrong, yeah. everything is falling apart for DJP actually. We have almost 7 power points collected from Ave Habe, that means you can use 5 of these to get the Tainted Land. Use it for the push. Uh, DJP was again forced to go for the rebuild just like in the previous game, has almost 4 power points collected afterwards. And he was holding his Rallying Call by the way during this defense. So he has buff advantage, but unfortunately he doesn't have many units to buff right now. Yeah. He has... One Phalanx, one Guardian, one Battle Wagon. Yeah. That's it. Oh, nice Tainted Land on top of these three structures. Can I fully commit to that now? Ah, uh, is that a good idea though? Oh, nice Trample. Nice, oh, nice Oral Oral here from DJP. Also being able to get away. Nice defense. That was necessary after such a, after this kind of unlucky moments he had. Yeah. But the problem mm -hmm. is uh, 675 command points for Ave Habe. Against Ward 25. Oh, yes. And we have Hawk Troll Swordsman out, yeah. which is a very problematic unit in this matchup for the dwarves. <laughs> yeah. This mineshaft in the front is going to be taken down. I mean, the battle wagon is quite slow already. He doesn't have heal just yet. He can pick it, though, from the spellbook. And yeah, he's you know, low on money, obviously. 375 command points only, and the problem is he's also almost command points capped, so can't make more units. Money issues and also CP issues, yes. Yeah. So, once again, he has to make a push with the battle wagon leadership work, or... I mean, that's everything he has right now. Yeah. Luck in RTS? Yeah, I mean, that was kinda unlucky. If you didn't see what happened here, he was building a mineshaft here, and the goblin warrior went from the goblin layer all the way here. To get it to you know to hit it while it was at zero percent, so make him lose 300 resources early on. That means a lot. Okay, Rallying Call was used, War Charm was used as well. Cave pads are gonna be ready pretty soon, but not quite yet. Uh, I mean, decent fight, I guess, but does it matter? 
In the meantime, he has three guardians trying to take down one of these level two tunnels in the back. He might be able oh, to yeah. do that actually. Oh, okay. I thought you meant Italians, but no, no, just... no. <laughs> three units. <laughs> uh, cave beds ready. Now, battle wagon is quite slow. 775 CP for Ave Havi without any battle expansion. So he has decent amounts of map control, decent amount of resource income, spamming those half troll swordsmen, those goblin warriors, our archers from the goblin cave, and spiderlings at the same time. He can afford it. Uh, and what? look, the spiderlings. Can they take down the mineshaft? They can, right? They should be uh, able to. That hurts. Yeah. There's nothing. Rebuild? Rebuild is ready. Use yeah, it. definitely do it. Do it. Yeah. Might Good. be able to save it now. Burning. And I think it was a mistake from Avi to actually... Uh, he should try to attack from both sides, right? To maximize the damage yeah. output. Maybe. This uh, The last few minutes actually went pretty well for DJ because Awe committed to that one fight where the battle wagon was helping out. In the meantime, DJ got three mind shifts up in the south. Yeah. So it's an okay income again. And those three guardians, by the way, they were able to take down the level 2 tunnel. <laughs> How, how does that happen? <laughs> I don't know, but it happens. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Maybe Hello. a great comeback. What do you think? Yeah, actually, DJ's army is looking really scary right now. If he gets across the map... Oh, Builder. Oh, He's going to get a free Builder. Nice. Revenge. Revenge. The old has been taken down, boys. Three Builders dead so far in this game number two. Not even counting the Builders in the game number one. That was a scout. It was on purpose. Uh, but the problem is that he's gonna get attacked DJ. now. DJ's builder. Ah, oh, he he's said. Paying attention. I mean, that would be really, really bad now if you lose three builders like in five minutes. Mm -hmm. So I have a bit of a base trade f maybe coming. Yeah, rebuild is on cooldown, but Hobbit special summon is ready. So I think he might be able to summon Hobbits defensively while using the units offensively. What do you think? Yeah, I agree, actually. I don't think the Hobbits would make a too big difference at the front right now. Yeah, but he needs but to do it now. Alive. Without losing too much. half to Swapmen are really tanky units. They don't care too much about the Fortress. That Tainted Land is really helping out a ton. I hope he's not going to lose the level 3 Mineshaft. That's the only one he has. Uh, he will. He will, yeah. Okay, so let's focus on the attack. Oh, the, the Battle Wagon! Oh my god, DJ. Okay, no, he's, he's, good, he's good to go. Good to go for now. But the spider links, oh, hobbits will be used offensively. Okay. If bats coming negating the leadership from the battle wagon. That's and so Wild's weird. man. I don't know about that. On top of the battle wagon, really? Makes no sense. He's losing all of them at the same time. They get they get summoned. And DJ is gonna have heal in a second. A few more kills. Yeah. Yes, now the power yeah. points. Will he do it? He needs yeah. to actually. I think. Hundred percent. Need to do it. Yeah. Nice, nice fight here from DJ, by the way. And the Wildman of Dunland did absolutely nothing but died in a second. They got summoned. Um, Weirdly, DJ still lost a good part of his army, though. Uh, if the Hobbits weren't here, he only has like two axes and a phalanx right now. Yeah. He didn't go for the heal yet, Solas. But um, luckily for Abe Habe, he was able to take down um, the Mineshaft and the Barracks from um, DJ Premier. Yeah. And also, he finds all the mine jets in the south now. Yeah. Taking down every single one of them with those spider links. There is no defense. We have now Azok joining the fight. The Hobbit's gonna be gone soon. And then he can commit, actually. He still didn't go for the heal. Strange. Seven power points collected, 400 CP for DJ. We have um, 675 command points and Almost five power points collected after Wildman, Cave Beds, Tainted Land, and War Chant for Ave Ave. Uh, Tainted Land and War Chant are both ready. Can be used on those half troll Swordsmen, maybe. Azok is also there. He's going for the heal now, finally, and using it immediately. This wa Wagon is doing such a great job here. Yeah, it's. It's the best fight he can get, I think. He's still gonna lose it, but. Yeah, but he actually forced him to make, you know, um, Tainted Land defensively, to put it yeah. defensively, which is not bad. Uh, we'll be able to get away with the level 3 battle wagon. Never. Oh, never. Yeah, true. I didn't see those spiderlings chasing them. Look at this, guys. You think um, you got away? No, you yes. don't. Okay, so DJ has... Um, King Brent. 
five mine drafts, I think. Yeah. And the King Brand and a Battle Wagon and that's it. And one Hobbit Battalion. Oh, Level nice. 3, almost. Nice. That's it. And he lost so much. Because he got he gets always counter attacked, and I think that's the that's the mistake what other goblin players were not doing. They were always trying to defend. Ave Have was always trying to damage him back while he's being attacked. Um that's why he's so low on CP and so low on units. Those wagons and those heroes like King Brand, they are really expensive, unlike those goblin warriors. Yeah. And that's why I said at the start what I'm expecting from this match is a lot of chaos because the goblin just goes for counterattacks and doesn't really face TJ head on. Yeah. I mean, this is this looks really good for now for the goblin player Ave Ave. And if he wins that, he needs to play against May Shadow Fax Mordor. Goblins against Mordor this could also be fun to watch. I think Mordor against Dwarves is gonna be very hard for Mage Shadow Facts. Indeed, he told me so last the other day that he really hopes that, even though he likes DJ a lot, but he hopes that uh, Dwarves gonna lose. <laughs> so he doesn't need yeah. to fight against Dwarves with Mordor. Nice slam, uh, not yeah, the best. Yeah, used it on the goblins there. They were clamped like crazy. Yeah, everything is falling apart here. 450, but look his CP he's using, guys. He has only 160 under his control, so pretty much nothing but King Brand and those pikemen. She's losing right now in this wagon. And spiders will be used now. The wagon will be able potentially to get away into the mine shafts. Or, yeah. Oh. Okay. Getting body blocked. King Brand is running for his life. Azok is almost level 4. I think if Azok gets level 4, he can even commit to the fortress. What do you think? With yeah, the great so battle reach. I stopped paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> sure. It's over, I guess, right? Thank you so much for the photo, JDS8, Kira, Kofita, and Baytrick. Guys, thank you so much. And DJP is gonna call it GG. That's gonna be game number two. Both games were won by the Goblin player Ave Harvey so far. Can we see a great comeback? DJP being, being able to win three games in a row now? What do you guys think? What do you think, Solas? Is it possible? Well, I don't want to be too apologetic for DJ, but once again, a lot of stuff going wrong. The goblins uh, shooting his mind shift at 0%. Uh, the goblin there, I mean. Yeah, that and was that, unlucky. Like crazy. Both builders dead. and Yeah. yeah I, I guess that's it. Game number three on the map, Plains of Lindon. Are we leading two O-Boys? One win away from entering the semi-finals against May Shadow Fax. And after this series, we will have Imperialist against uh, Eternal, yeah. Dwarves against Engma. Gonna be the matchup. Cool. All right. On the top side, we have the Red Goblin player Ave Ave, who has a fantastic start in the Best of Five series. And then we have the DJ Premier at the bot side with the Dwarf faction. You know, he got sometimes really bad luck, but also kind of being sloppy today, or not? Yeah. Yeah. The the thing with the goblin there, that was bad luck, but losing both builders, that was also sloppiness. Yeah, but let's see how this, I mean, the problem is, if you lose two games in a row, it's not going to make your mood better, you know what I'm saying, right? So you're not going to feel better, you're not going to play much better. You know, I think having one win at your side makes, you know, boost your confidence and... Okay, we have a Fissure start here from the Goblin player. So every single game he made something different, right? The first game Spider Pit, the second game Goblin Cave. Which makes and it, I think, really hard to, you know, to predict for DJP. What do you think? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense on this map. Because um, same thing as DJ is doing, you have a very near troll there to creep and get a free in for it. So they're probably both going to do the same thing. Creep the troll, grab the in, make hobbits slash corsairs, and then go for an attack. Yeah. But I think the hobbits are gonna work out better for DJ than corsairs will for Awe Awe, but we'll see. We will see. I think he's gonna make the goblin caves later on anyway, starting with those half troll pikemen, obviously, to creep the troll. He made a billow a mistake, by the way. He was supposed to buy the pikes first and then make the third tunnel. He did the other way around. Oh, that's why it was so delete, right? Okay. Um, that means DGP will be a bit faster with the creep. Yeah, he knows it. He messed up. <laughs> the pikemen are already joining. Um, I think the pikemen from goblins are stronger than from dwarves, right? In a 1v1 situation. 
I'm not sure. I have no idea, actually. But, I mean, would kind of make sense because they cost a bit more. Pikemen from Dwarves, they cost only 300 each, and those uh, half troll Pikemen, they cost 400 each. I think it's an even fight, pretty even. Not not sure who wins. And but also, yeah. DGP didn't use the builder to lure the troll, so he went yeah. straight to the troll creep. It's not necessary. And I think that's gonna be the case also for Ave Havis, uh, half troll Pikemen. Potentially not, or? Yeah. It's, it's a waste of time, just fight it normally. The pikes are way uh, too strong to micro around for it. And yeah, he's actually getting some half troll swordsman now afterwards and building the, the first goblin cave now. And we have the forge works coming up for DGP at the same time. So actually, what do you think about the forge works that early against half troll pikemen and half troll swordsman? And it's laggy uh, a bit, right, this game? Yeah, it's starting to lag. Yeah. Big lags. I hope it's not gonna continue like this. Okay, the inn will be under control now from DJP at the bottom right side. See him at the top left side for Ave Havi. Hobbits against um, Corsars. Back to your question, I think the Fordrix is ironically actually better than an archery range against the start. Because Axtros wouldn't help at all against half troll swordsmen, but the battle wagon buffs all your units. And especially the hobbits, so that makes a big difference in the fight. And he yeah. can trample crosshairs, of course. He's saying bugs, what's going on? Okay, so technical difficulties maybe for the game? Checking oh, my connection did. right now, everything seems good for me. He didn't grab the inn, actually. Okay, yeah, he didn't do it. Like DGP, who's definitely gonna make use of those hobbits, they are really cost efficient. And now moving to the creep at the right side. And uh, Ave is not gonna go for the creep, he's gonna go for the attack instead. Or will he? Nah. He was not sure, I guess, for a second. He was going back and forth. Um, what do you think about the push with two half troll swordsmen and one of these half troll pikeman units with war chant? Well, it looks like the second swordsman is missing. Uh, he's creeping the work layer, okay. I don't know about that. I think grouping them would be a much more uh, devastating attack. But it looks like DJ will be ready to defend anyway. Yeah, easiest defense of his life, I yeah. think. Leadership here. I mean, he needs to just make sure to not run straight into the pikemen there. Or half troll, you know, just don't get blocked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's not gonna happen, and I think DJ is not just gonna attack. He has a forward mind shaft. Yeah. Going for attack now, and since all the units almost from Ave Ave are, you know, used for offensive purposes, but there is a tunnel in the back he can use to get back in. Mm -hmm. I think he has to. But will he? That's the question. Or will he just go for a for a you know for an attack and try to deal as much damage as possible? Yeah, again, bit of a base trade probably. I think if DJ just leaves some hobbits at home, he can defend pretty nicely. Yeah, he has one battalion so far. And more guardians are gonna follow up, obviously. And he's also he keeps making those hobbits. Okay, he's using the wagon actually. Uh, to defend so far this mineshaft, so he doesn't have double buff action going on for those units just yet. That's okay. Okay, so Hobbit's trying to help defending. I think he should have made a wall hub preemptively around his main mineshaft in the backside. Yeah. It looks like he's going for the forge. Yeah, and he will be able to take it down. Yeah, for sure. And now it's it... gonna be really important, I guess, for DJP to keep this only wagon he has alive. Yeah. Oh. Where is okay. it? Oilborn, yeah, he's there of uh, using, you know, Oilborn oh. on those units defensively. The mineshaft mm. in the back is gonna be taken down as well. That's a great attack, actually. And since the wagon is not around, look, he's also being able to defend himself. I don't know what DGP was actually doing right there. That's kind of but. questionable. Not even using the buff for the push and holding it. Why holding it, you know? Doesn't make sense. Hmm. He's gonna use, lose his mineshaft as well. It looks so good again for the goblin player, though, as well as what you think. Yeah, actually, it is. I mean, he still has a push going for himself. He still has to rally call and a bunch of units in the mine shafts, but... But now Ave has also enough power points for the key pets, right? And that's gonna kind of shut down the leadership part from the battle wagon. There are no extra wars that can damage the bats. 
And he can even potentially fight with those half twelve SWAT men against the units. I think he needs to play it very uh, patient now. He makes a lot of mind shafts in the goblins base, so that's at least some form of income for him. Yeah. Does that speaker have YouTube channel about FIFA or something? Because his voice is pretty similar for someone. I don't have, dude. <laughs> uh, or maybe you mean Solas, but I... Hey. Solas, do you have a YouTube channel for FIFA games? Yeah. Oh. No one knows, but... <laughs> oh, now, now they know, now they know. <laughs> okay. Rallying call finally was used from DGP on those Hobbits, Guardians and Pikemen. Uh, he needs to use to... the cave pads here. Oh, he went for the Tainted Lands. Committing to the fortress? Really? I don't know about that. This is a way to throw a game. DJ has repair. Yeah. He can buy it. He needs to buy it though. Because he has no defense however to defend this. It's fine, I think. Yeah. The fortress is tough. half throw swapmen are tough as well. But I would say cave pads for defensive purposes would be a better choice to use. Now he might lose Fissure. Uh, the fissure, yeah. Better pit, both down. Wagon's still alive. Yeah. So he, he will have no counter against the wagon. He only has Goblin Cave, so nothing can chase down the wagon. I hope he's not gonna get greedy and use Hobbits now, because he has enough ten, enough power points. That, oh, but actually, he can't even take down the. Yeah, he's gonna go for the Hobbits. He can't take down the fortress even without the rebuild. That was kind of questionable in BFME too. The fortress is you know easy to take down. I think that's what he was trying to do also in Rise of the Witch King, which doesn't work. <laughs> Well, I guess the good part for the Goblin is that he's on 625 CP. Yeah. He has a lot of tunnels on the map. A lot of in the middle, and since uh, DGP was never using the middle pathway so far, he doesn't have any information about that. So, uh, I guess the one thing he can build is Corsairs from both of the ends, but that's not going to do much. Yeah. I mean, the problem is now, I think the biggest problem for Ave Ave is he doesn't have any heroes. There is still an attack happening, no more production buildings left. He has some spider links, and I think the biggest mistake here was to co the commitment to the fortress. Instead of going for the cave pads, denying the leadership, and trying to defend, I guess, right? I think if he just pulled everything back, maybe one half troll for harassment or something, but all the rest back, DJ's attack will just be defending and the game is over. Yeah. That's the case here, unfortunately, for Ave Havi. But the game isn't over yet. I mean, DJP now has to clean up those tunnels as soon as possible. Because he's still getting some decent money, right? He has two ins under his control, as you said. Keeps making Corsars from both of them. Using firebombs on the archer range. DJP oh, nice. has only 300 CP, his command points kept. So he doesn't have any mineshaft close by. He can't actually defend himself right now. That's really bad. If he has to now. Yeah. Look, he can't get back to his own side. <laughs> That's the problem. He can't make more units either. Oh no, and more Corsars are coming. <laughs> he has to be careful with the wagon too. I think there's still a Spidling Battalion on the map, yeah. Yeah, he's level two. still one. And he doesn't have Forgeworks anymore, right? And there's going to be a Spidling Summon available, if he goes for that. Or maybe Wildman, I don't know. But Wildman wouldn't make any sense, right? Because what happened in the last game? He's, oh, he's going for the Wildman, okay. Oh, he's committing Perfect to the element. Fortress. And Rebuild has, uh, used, has been used already. Oh, oh my god, it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah Rebuild is not available, boys. So, maybe... Nah. He's going to lose it, much. right? Yeah. yeah. What? What is happening? Where did he use the uh, Rebuild? I don't, I don't get it. The Vagon is retreating, mm -hmm. but he won't be that in time. And the Fortress from DJ Premier has been taken down. Builder 2. Nice. Oh, what a fiesta. Will... Ah, we have actually 3-0 DGP with goblins it's against dwarves. Crazy. But is he gonna try to survive here? Yeah, he might try, but the problem is uh, he has 250 CP. He can't afford one building. He's gonna lose the game when he loses the Hall of Warriors, by the way. He doesn't have any more barracks. He can build something. He doesn't he do, has it now. To do it He doesn't <laughs> have builders, does he? <laughs> Yeah, it's in north right okay, there. Okay, he's building one Hall of Warriors now, it's at 12%. There's Azog. Yeah. yeah. This game is over. <laughs> That's the only structure left from DGP, by the way, boys. As soon as he loses that, he will be losing the game. And super, super unique game style from both players. No one actually cared about his own side of the map at all, right? Everyone mm. was leaving his fortress pretty much unprotected. <laughs> DGP was going for an attack, so was Ave Ave. 
but Abby Habe's attacks were just, you know, more effective, I guess. And yeah. I mean, we need to give credit to Abi Havi also with the Goblins, right? He's normally a BFME 2 player who is playing much more BFME 2 than Rise of the Witch King. And I mean, to be honest, DJP was kind of sloppy today. The Wagon yeah. has been taken down. So, Lars, what do you think about the past three games now? Well, I think DJ is better than that. It's just, you know, tournament pressure, I guess. They with your mind, I guess. But also, congratulations to Avi Havi, man, making it to the semifinals now. What do you think about the f matches now, which is gonna happen hopefully in the next days between Shadow Fax, Mordor Faction? I think you have seen it also a couple of times against the men from Sauron and from Ale uh, from King Mustafa against the Goblins performance you have seen today from Avi Havi, Mordor against Goblins. Even more chaos than today. <laughs> so, but just, you know. You know, which faction would you think, it does it also depend on the map, you know, for big maps better for Mordor against Goblins or small maps better for Mordor against Goblins? Because I can't remember to see many, many Goblins against Mordor matches lately, especially in the very current uh, version of the patch 2.02. So what do you think about what could happen in the best of five? Well, big map always good for Goblins and uh, I don't know. I think always style suits the map pool pretty well nowadays. Yeah. I'm really expecting to, uh, at least like four up to five games though in the semifinals. Um, I was also expecting a bit more from this series, but I guess, you know, those little mistakes uh, got punished hard by Ave Ave. You know, losing the builder, losing the mineshaft early on, like you said, in the game number two. And then after being two wins, uh, two loses, uh, after losing two games in a row, I mean, um, you really have a lot of pressure, I guess. You, I, I don't know, maybe he would have done things better or different if this was a normal game. Um, but yeah, I mean, anyways, uh, congratulations to Ave Ave, making it to the semifinals, boys.